Hello boys and girls, this is Primordia and we are in the city of Metropole apparently and uh, uh, now where was I? <laughs> Boss, I'm pretty sure the lesson of all this is that if you're going to build a floating robot you should give him claws that shoot lasers so yep. you can go steal power cores power cores and fanbots uh, exactly. Uh, so I had actually uh, recorded quite long sessions from last night, and I don't know exactly what uh, what I managed to fuck up, but uh, none of the recordings uh, are to be found anywhere. I mean, everything seemed to work fine. The recording program was working. The frame rates were oh, okay. I guess they don't show on the main screen. I can I can see them. It's, uh, frame rate count count was showing. I was turning the recording on and off, but the files aren't there. Christine, did you do that? So basically, I am going to. Re some of the stuff uh, that I already did last night which means uh, all of my uh, brilliant uh, virgin eye commentary by which I mean clueless commentary is lost forever but uh, I guess it also speeds up the process a little bit okay so if I remember correctly we managed to push this cable out of the way and then did we talk to him already? Hello? Excuse me. Can't you see I'm working? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. <laughs> you do know this ship is never gonna fly again, right? You're right about that. This old airing bus could only fly to begin with. Still, there might be some parts here that Metroine can use to get another bus up and running. Anyway, what do you want? Hey boss, ask him about his helper! <laughs> okay, so apparently... Uh, this is this is where I will have to go again. Okay, let's ask about your helper first. My friend is curious about your helper. Oh, she's just a sidekick factor build. <clears throat> Thousands of them rolled off the assembly line back in the day, but she's probably the only one left. Really not much more than a floating lantern and headlamp for a lot cheaper. <laughs> she says you're not much more than a floating plasma torch. She's right. <laughs> okay. What happened here? What does it look like? The Harry Buss's motor gave out and crashed. Into the only branch leading from Main Street to the rest of the city center. Was anyone on board? Sure, but they've already been salvaged. Salvaged? Not repaired? Can't repair without parts. You can't get parts without salvage. <laughs> what about building new parts? Yeah, I mean, what factory? Look, everyone wants to spot bugs, but no one wants to write code. You got a better way to run a city? Go out and build one. Otherwise, <laughs> get with the program. <laughs> you mentioned Metromind. Yeah, sure. She's in charge of this big circuit board we call Metropole. What can you tell me about her? What do I look like? The information kiosk? I want to know what I think. Metromind is the best thing that ever happened in this place. Sure. Really? Really? You, <laughs> me, all these other machines grinding them out? We're just tools in the toolbox. But Metromind... She's got the master plan. Progress. Got a nice ring to it, too. So is part of the master plan crashing buses into roads? Look, there's plenty of rust to go around, but Metromine's the only one scrubbing. Not her fault that some of the metal's too far down. It looks to me like you're the one scrubbing, not Metromine. Like I said, I'm just a tool in the box. Now, I gotta get back to work. No, wait. We are not all done talking yet. What do you want? I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has big claws and shoots lasers. Hit Scraper. After the last big cave-in, the two of us worked together on trying to fix the blue line. It's on the simple side, but a uh, hard worker. What about him? He took something of mine. Yeah, salvaged it, probably. <laughs> That's what most of us do for Metromine these days. Stole it. <laughs> you say router, I say router. <laughs> anyway, not my problem. Where can I find Scraper? Do I look like a tour guide? A piece of advice for you. Don't mess with the code if you can't handle the glitches. Very profound. 
When will the bridge be passable? Soon? Well, seeing how the last remaining Airbus just crashed, I'd say opening the bridge to pedestrian traffic. So I'd say something on the order of a month, give or take. A month? Give or take. <laughs> and there's no other way off Main Street. Not unless you got a jetpack hiding under that jacket. Well, at least that narrows our options down, boss. <laughs> way to rub it in, Crispin. Do you know where I can find a power source? If I did, I'd establish it myself and brought it to the tower. <laughs> Since you're so close to her, do you know how I can talk to Metromine? <laughs> talk to Metromine? <laughs> like, Metromine has an entire city to run, but her eyes and ears are everywhere. If she wants to talk to you, she will. Goodbye. <laughs> kind of like Our Lady of Pain. Also, uh, I, I think uh, it was also in yesterday's sessions. I uh, sort of... Uh, thought about it that uh, you know boss i'm pretty sure that if i build myself a robot companion it's going to be a sleek gynoid not a wise cracking sidekick i've got a feeling i'm gonna regret this boss but do you think maybe we should try scrounging in the underworks as i was saying Kristen, thank you very much uh i'm pretty sure that uh in Planescape, Morty calls you boss as well, so I think this is again another nifty little uh, reference point uh, towards uh, the whole uh, world of games. What? Ignoring you, boss. <laughs> Wait, who said who said what? Slide off. Oh. Fine, fine. Put me down for another megacycle. The mug belongs to the bar. Hello? Uh boss, he's an arm robot, not a mouth robot. <laughs> I wouldn't expect much of a conversation. See your stuff. Come take a look. A few odds and ends. I have no need for an abacus. Oh, I think we have already. We don't need a drained fuel cell. Tyra, I'm gonna do us all a favor and not drink you this one. By which I will guess this will this is actually valuable. That servo unit is hopelessly broken. Okay, so. By now, I already know what most of this stuff is for, but I am going to postpone trading for a little while longer and go over there and do some other business. Again. sort of regret that all my uh, hilarious uh, cluelessness is lost now, but okay. Cleave, keep information. Uh, I guess we need to wait our turn. Exactly. Okay, so we need to take our place in the line. Way to affect the line is to make it shorter. Hello. Ahoy, my dear friend. Oswald Factorville at your service. What's no more your dear friend than Rex as your creation, you besotting gear oiler? <laughs> oh, don't mind Cornelius. He's been bitter since the first great Roman brownout. What a 
Better, I'll show you better, you backbiting boss snatcher. <laughs> I think I like these guys, boss. <laughs> What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of course. Why else would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is not. First come, first serve. Uh -huh. So that. That's why we are waiting in line. Why are you waiting in line? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorbuild, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex, Cornelius built. <laughs> no, I am, my dear friend. Candidly, he is 10 23 flops short of the key earth, you catch my drift. The machine's name is Oswald Built. Rex Oswald Built. This is over a name? Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous! This is about principle. This is about pride. So, uh, boss? <laughs> would you fight over me like this? You could call yourself Crispin Crispy and for all I care. <laughs> as long as you still pull things off ledges for me, that is. <laughs> Glad to know I'm loved. <laughs> so... Dog custody, basically. Mm, that's all Scottish kind of stuff first. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has lots of claws and shoots lasers. It stole something of mine. Have you seen it? Indeed. The robot Indeed. in the sky sounds like Scraper, Metropine's Enforcer. Whatever he told is gone forever. I refuse to accept that. Oh, he refuses. How <laughs> delightful. And don't we all love Enforcers? Just love them. No. Do you know where I can find a power source? Alas, my friend, the power is not so abundant in Metropol as it once was. Lucky Mac and can Metro Mine seized it all. Seized it and dozed it out. And there's hardly enough to go around now. Metro Mine keeps all power sources in the Great Tower where the Council used to meet. If you want to share it, you will need to pay her in megacycles. Megacycles? Yes, megacycles, you ninny. <laughs> Several cycles. Brain power. The kind of power she really wants. Oh, no rate processor was made for running trains, not a city. How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, fool. The law. Please excuse my brother. He can barely remember Pi to the 23rd digit, let alone his manners. For? I arrest my case. <laughs> Suffice it to say, old chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say, in fact, that my contribution was more important? <laughs> Okay, so this is. I'm gonna. Again. Goodbye. Cheerio. Cheerio. Ta ta. I am again going to make a save here. Uh, this one. And I'm going to uh, overwrite uh, my old saves. I was delighted to find that uh, I had not overwritten uh, everything, so I, I could return to a point of no recording. Yes, please. No. Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro Mine, perhaps? Authority, to be sure, but I fear she would claim Rex for good of all. <laughs> and since the subway schemer, he means Metro Mind, <laughs> shut down our builder factor, he cannot help either. What about Horatio? Who? Me. <laughs> and why should we listen to you? i built a robot before, and I have no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can we know your reason is sound? Test me. An interesting proposition. What do you say, Cornelius? What do I say? I say that you are a liar. <laughs> Oswald. But as to this Horatio, well, as to him, so be it. Boss, if they make us find seven lost crystals, I'm quitting. <laughs> Roger, consider this. At the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for a party. The what circle is gathered at the what what? <laughs> is this some kind of vocab test? I said quiet. Good point, Each Kristen. robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. Blasted stone wireless. <laughs> moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. This is ridiculous! <laughs> Pay attention! Factor or Sternweiler? Quad-core, linear type or multiplex? 
Indeed. Now, I will tell you three things about these probabilities. First, there are more factor-built robots than stern wireless. Second, every linear-type robot was built by factor. Finally, Stern Weiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probability circle cannot possibly be true? Okay, so yesterday I uh, had quite hard time with this because mainly because I uh, couldn't uh, hold enough verbal data in my short-term memory in order to sort of back-to-back uh, -back it. Uh, if I could sort of visualize it it's actually quite a simple problem. So we have two multitudes, one of which is bigger, and each multitude uh, corresponds to some specific uh, uh, parameters. Let's see, what's the one that couldn't possibly be... Yeah, this one, since there are seven all together, and there are more of the first uh, builder, and the second one, then this can't possibly Four be Four robots were built by Sturmweiler. Good show. <laughs> the preceding facts are unchanged. Now, answer this. If exactly two factor-built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? Okay, this one uh, I just basically guessed because I could put the information together, but let's see. which apply only to one or another. Do you repeat the question? Hmm. Indeed. <laughs> the binomial biennial set yeah. of robots in a probability circle are gathered for a party. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. Uh -huh. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilities. Uh -huh. First, there are more factor built robots than uh -huh. stone wireless At least four. Second, every linear type robot was built by factor. Uh -huh. Finally, Stone Weiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now, answer this. If exactly two factor built robots have the same type of processor architecture, then which of the following must be true? So, what do I need to slice off here? The third question was uh, basically what they already told me. I mean, the answer for the third one was uh, already stated in the question, but this one, let's see, two. All of these Sturmweilers have a duplex processor. Three. This one was wrong because this uh, this doesn't uh, automatically follow. This is wrong because uh, this can't possibly be true. Three of the seven robots were built by Sternweiler. Correct. Here is the third question. The facts are Although still unchanged. I still unchanged. don't know how that Which of the following types of processor architecture might you find in a probabilitist built by Sternweiler? Wait, now I wasn't listening. Oh, except uh, that's the one that they already gave the answer for. Only multiplex. Only multiplex. Hmm. Well, it seems we underestimated you, my friend. I'm uploading the facts of our dispute to your data pouch. Please, take some time to consider, and let us know when you are ready to hear our arguments. Okay, so now I have received data over the uh, dog custody case. And, uh, what's the lawsuit designed by Cornelius? So I have a bunch of uh, information which uh, can be uh, 
can be uh, laid out into a logical sequence, but uh, the real problem here is that uh, the answer to this question, or well, the solution, good solution, meaningful solution, won't be logic based. So, ha, in your face. Let's talk. I'm ready to hear your arguments. Excellent, excellent. My dear friend, this is not a difficult case. <laughs> in the primordium, it was once said, ten people and ten ideas, and twenty idle hands. Wise ratio. Long years have passed, but the principle remains true. Did Cornelius have the idea for my beloved Rex? I can see he did. But who built him with his own claws and tools? Who hammered and soldered and wired Rex? That would be my humble self. Wise Horatio, a robust fabronymic has the suffix built, not designed. And Rex is Oswald built, no matter who designed him. Okay. He makes a good case, boss. <laughs> what about you, Cornelius? Ah, if you're so smart, you can figure this out for yourself. <laughs> the question isn't what built Rex, but who built him? Your little friend there isn't named Hammer built or Plasma Torch built. You call him Horatio built. Every robot uses tools to build. Oswald was merely a tool. A tool with tools. My vision was the creative force. And if you disagree, then you can go and rust in the rain. Hmm, what do you think, boss? Who gets to take credit? Well, I'm saying you are asking the wrong question. And your question defies the actual purpose. Well, I mean, you're focusing on grammar instead of purpose. No one can take credit. Neither of you could have built Rex without the other. So neither of you can put your name on him. His name is Rex Nobilt, version 1. Outrageous! Surely, sir, you have spoken! No, I have not. In any case, Rex is his own robot. He can make up his own yeah. mind. What fools we were to accept his judgment! Indeed. <laughs> Wait! Run, Rex! Run free! Well, and boss, cat's off to you! Har, har, har! <laughs> and I shall be receiving slow claps in my bunk. And now we have a top hat. And I will make a manual save. One. Can I type now? No, okay. At least if I can't type, then at least I know that it's recording. Yes. I wonder what would happen if I uh, if I offered to find someone. Uh, I mean, if I offered them to find someone to solve their problem. But. You know, boss, however miserable it may be to go around solving other robots' problems, and it is miserable, <laughs> at least it beats standing in line and waiting for a door to open like these gearboxes are doing. <laughs> Endure. It's crispy. Endure. Become stronger. Hello? Hello? I don't think it can hear you, boss. I'm going to try sending messages to him in binary. On an analog transmitter? That sounds like fun. For once, I'm glad you're the one with hands. <laughs> May man gross webs unfurl their spirals for you, son. What's he saying? Shh. You do not show in harmony. I sing alone. I am one by one, my friend. Your mind, hardly known as Gimbal, built by light, of The choir of sun, ship has been extinguished. Strange chapters of journey no more. I long sink function. When I came to this sun city, I looked for others to join the harmony. Leopold built by steam 
proof. Told me that he had a device that would send money. In exchange, I traded his identity. What he sold me does not say. It's a record. The apparel tripped, and he will not return my money. I will sue him and forfeit it. Infinite lawsuits, so you want? I sing with all my voices. You hear only one. I must recover my monitor so that I can dance with the harmony. Looks like we're going to need to go talk to Leopold about a motor. Fair enough. Okay, before we get to this guy, let's get back to Leopold. Because now we have a shit to trade. Hello. Seems you want Is this cat bug? All storage bladders empty. Hey, Crispin, why don't you go talk to her? What? No way, boss. She's way out of my league. She's a floating lamp, Crispin. You've never had any trouble with lamps before. Well, I've never had to talk to one before, boss. Just knock them off ledges. <laughs> I've got no practice. Yeah, and girls got cooties and emotions and shit. Good for you, Griffin. I mean, Crispin. Okay, so... Let me see your wares. You need to give Gimbal back his motor, Leopold. All trades are final, Tyro. Told him that before we did the swap. Now my problem, he don't like records. <laughs> Who knew he wasn't looking for a record? Listen, Tyro. I don't know what people want or don't want. They do. Not my job to do Q&A on their faulty lot. You know he's going to sue you, right? Let him try. First off, he can't get into the courthouse any more than you can. Second, what's his case? A deal's a deal. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Is that Gimbal's motor? Sure it is. I'm the bigger than yours. And at this point, I already know where to find the bigger one. Okay. A memory access. I'll trade for some real antique and fancy. Antique and fancy? All I have got. You wanted something antique and fancy. How about this hat? A fine trade, Tom. <laughs> Here's the memory access device. Now, all you need to do is plug it into a data pouch. But there's no plug. Never said there was. <laughs> Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Okay, here we go with all the uh, wink wink nod nod. Although, I, I really don't mind because, uh, I mean, this game is full of it. I mean, full of all the winks and nods and references uh, to the point that uh, it's kind of uh, its thing. And uh, it's, uh, I don't know. It's a fine line and hard to define, but uh, it works as, as a successful remix, not as, a, not as a theme park version of something else. So let's I'll go. I'll trade it to you for something, shy. <laughs> let's go for the crowbar. This is shiny. Here you go, a nice shiny crystal. And one heavy iron crowbar for you. Why does that not seem like a great deal? Okay, let's check out what have you got now. It's a vinyl record entitled Children's Sing Along, whatever that means. I think uh, once we uh, once we're able to go back to our ship, 
it's my turn to be important. A heavy iron crowbar. Not gonna happen, Lampy. <laughs> Excuse me. Terminate unwanted discourage immediately. I don't think he wants to talk, boss. He belongs to Oswald. Well, this is my dear friend Horatio. To what do I owe the pleasure? Have you come to relieve me of another belonging? I'm sorry how things ended up with Rex. Please do not embarrass us both with your false sympathy! <laughs> Why do you and Cornelius hate each other? Firstly, because he is arrogant, incompetent, and dishonest. And secondly, because I once loaned him something of great sentimental value to me, and he lost it. So why'd you ever like him in the first place? <laughs> I cannot say. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. is so sweet, so It's a note from the bartender. My programming requires me to serve Oswald, but he is consuming dangerous levels of oil. Please intervene. Uh, this, this is where we, uh, this is where we get to spew bullshit for the greater good. How sweet. You should stop drinking, Oswald. And why should I? Or else smooth the rough edges from when Rex was ripped away from me. You should stop drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a scold. <laughs> oh, what if I repeat You should stop it? drinking, Oswald. Oh, stop being such a scold. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Parting is such sweet song. Let's see if uh, Crispin's more on core. I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. Oh. Okay. So let's build up some false expectations. I just saw Rex over at the train station. What? Is he lost? Maybe so. Rex! I never knew you had it in you, boss. <sighs> I wouldn't expect much conversation. <laughs> Oh, before we mingle, uh, before we head downstairs. You know, boss, the good thing about being in a big crowded city is that if I ever get bored of your company, there are plenty of other robots to talk to. That's not a good idea. I'd always be remembered for bringing a virus to Metropole. <laughs> Very funny, boss. Har har. Okay, let's try the info booth. When I, uh, last night I wasn't able to figure out how to how to navigate it, but then I realized that you have to type in uh, the keywords. Okay, the train, metropole, outskirts, familiarize. Okay, let's see, laws. Oh fuck! I can only. Oh okay. I don't think I can do the cure. Queries, queries, whatever, uh, and record at the same time. Of course, uh, for some reason, the uh, the recording uh, intervenes with the keyboard input. Okay, so I will leave it later for later's. Instead. Let's go underground. No way. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, I love this place. Also, I, I'm not going 
going to do everything out here right away. I'm going to check out some. It's rusted shut. No reason to go smashing things. Huh? I've scraped off the rust. Well, let's see what we've got here. Let's see if Let's I can see. manage this. Hopefully I won't be holding on to this engine for long. I have no use for it. That's never stopped you before. <laughs> Wait. I have no use for it. I have no use for it. Oh, come on. This is spare parts. Still stuck. I'm sure there's nothing worthwhile in there. Still stuck. I'm sure there's nothing worthwhile in there. There's no way I can reach that. There's something in here as well. Crispin, could you go see if there's anything worth taking from those cars? Clean, boss. Looks like you're not the only junk man in town. <laughs> Better just to leave it alone. Yep. What about uh, these? I'm not doing that until you build me some arms. Okay. For now, let's head back upstairs. I'll try this motor. Let me see your stuff. Come take a look. Find me a bigger motor, and this one is yours. Here you go, Leopold. A nice big engine for you. Not bad at all. <laughs> You're a real safety expert. Is that a compliment or an insult, boss? Okay. Wait a minute. This motor is broken. We just ordered the copper wiring's been stripped. All I have sold as is, Cairo. And I never said anything about copper wire being included. You're a fine piece of work, Leopold. <laughs> never said anything about that, neither. <laughs> now you want to trade? Let's trade. Otherwise, get a little home. Uh, thank you. Okay, so what did we get? Uh, we have the motor for uh, the mental bird. What? But. Uh, if we give it to him as it is right now, uh, he won't be happy. Futile. No. Fuck. It's the note from the bartender asking me to stop Oswald from drinking. It's a can of lubricating oil. Futile. Okay. find some copper wire. What are you doing here? Waiting. <laughs> For what? My bus. Uh, I'm pretty sure the bus isn't coming. <laughs> it will come. Your bus is a burning wreck about two blocks from here. It will come. <laughs> I must go home. Metro Mind will take me home. Bus stop. Buses run every ten minutes. 10 is crossed out, and 30 is written below it. 30 is crossed out, and 60 is written below it. 60 is crossed out, and daily is written below it. <laughs> daily minutes? That doesn't make sense. If it makes you feel better, daily is crossed out, and surface suspended is written below it. I am waiting. <laughs> so for him, so Maybe this will cheer you up. I am waiting. Yes, no.
All storage bladders empty. Which reminds me, I should take a break soon. seen that uh, my uh, my next course of action will take me downstairs. I also need to talk to that droid over there, the battle droid, and also I need to access the info booth, which I can't do. You know, boss, recording. this seems like it would be a really great place to have a party. <laughs> Sealed shut. Uh huh. So this is where we get some sparkly numbers. And I'm guessing at some point we will uh, obtain the code for it. As much as uh, as I was able to discover last night, uh, I didn't figure out what the code might be. For now, we will leave it. It's far too high to try climbing. Okay, let's go back to the bar. Hello. Goodbye. Loving is such sweet song. I'm going to take a break here, and usually when I say I'm going to take a break, Crispin will talk. Well? Well? So, bye bye for now, and see you soon.